members in Alaska rallied in support of their Canadian counterparts in the Freedom Convoy. We've been reporting this. It's our lead story today. Thousands of truckers defying vaccine mandates, asking for freedom of choice. Now, since mid-January, Canada has required truck drivers and other essential service providers to show proof of vaccination to enter the country. The U.S. followed uh, with their own vaccine mandates for truckers traveling from Canada to the U.S. Delana Sprinkle is one of those truck drivers from Alaska who took the trek from Anchorage to Eagle River in support of these Canadian protests. She joins me live. Delana, good morning. Good morning. Why? First of all, I talked to a trucker this week and he's saying there are a lot more people who are in support of this freedom convoy movement uh, because they think it's the start of a beginning of more mandates. Is that why people are so impassioned because they don't know where the line will be drawn for freedom of any choice? I think so. Um, I know here in Alaska, that's how we feel. You know, um, from the get go of this virus, there's a couple of uh, industries that showed up, truck drivers and healthcare workers. You know, health, um, truck drivers have not thought twice. They have gotten up every day and continue to deliver our goods. Um, and we just, we think that it should be a choice. We are, we don't support mandates. You know, Canada is our neighbor. So the supply chain, we rely heavily on them. And we're just afraid if we keep giving up our freedoms, we're not gonna have any left. When it comes to the supply chain, obviously America's already stressed out. There could be some people who think, gosh, just go get the vaccine. We're already under enough pressure. Truck drivers, why are you making it more difficult? What would you say to those folks? I would say that everybody has the right to make their own decision. Um, you know, never in my life have I had to give my medical records to an employer before I got hired or to keep my job. It would be different if this vaccine was proven effective. You know, they pushed it at first that if you take this vaccine, you'll be safe, you won't get COVID, you won't spread it. We have seen that to not be true. So, you know, we just believe that everybody should have the choice to make their own decision and they shouldn't lose their job because they don't want to take an experimental drug. How big a deal is this? Because from what I've been told from truckers, it's a very isolating and it's a very tight knit community. You know, you talk to your people, you stay in your circle, but overall there's not this grand organization uh, among truck drivers or community building among truck drivers. Is this a big deal that so many have said yes to this protest? Oh, it absolutely is. Because if we don't stand up and start taking our freedoms back, we're not gonna have any left. They keep, um, they keep giving us these mandates on emergency orders. And as long as we comply, there's gonna be emergency orders and we're gonna to continue to lose our freedoms. And, you know, truck drivers, we are a tight knit group. You know, this is not an easy way to make a living. These guys take off and they leave their homes, their families for weeks at a time. They don't just pull up to a, a dis distribution center and unload in 30 minutes. Sometimes these guys are hung up for five to 10 hours. They put in a lot of hours they don't get paid for and they should be able to make their own decision. I gotta ask you one more question, we're out of time. I'm not there in Canada. Our reporters are not there in Canada. You've been there in Canada. What was the scene like when you arrived? What was the crowd like? You know, we're hearing a lot of different reports about it being overall peaceful or the organizers want it to be peaceful, but then there are some incidents that are questionable as well. I have not been in Canada to this. I just participated in our Alaska Freedom Convoy, but everything I see, it's peaceful. They're not insurrectionists, they're not racists. They just wanna be able to work. You know, it, it's really sad. So we, yes, we stand with the Canadian truckers here in Alaska. We stand for freedom. All right, Delana, thank you so much. Again, Alaska, one of the latest uh, United States uh, that is seeing similar protests to what's happening in Canada, much smaller, but still uh, for the same cause. Delana, thank you so much. Rain thank and, you so much. Absolutely, rain and snow are what we're... Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click on the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.